Hi everyone, welcome back to Infinity Platter. In this series of Cooking with Chefs, I have a very special guest for you. This is Huanmi. Hola. <laughs> my professor from culinary school who graciously accepted to come and teach us two Andalusian dishes. One is gazpacho and the other one is guiso de bacalao. Let's get cooking. Okay, yes. To make a, a good gazpacho, first uh, we can make a marinade. Mm -hmm. Marinade, uh, we must to cut uh, the vegetable, all vegetable, put it together in a bowl mm -hmm. with a cut bigger, big uh, or big mi middle, middle pieces, mm -hmm. yeah, and mix uh, with uh, salt, vinegar, and jerez, mm -hmm. and olive oil, virgin extra. The so olive, oil, olive oil virgin extra is so important, okay? Extra virgin olive oil, yeah. red, red vinegar, vinegar, jerez, 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 vinegar, and salt, okay? Okay. And then we put a little bit of uh, uh, pan, bread, bread, uh, bread hard, hard, hard bread that's from the last day or two or three days before. Okay. No problem because we need the uh, texture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the bread is not important uh, to, to be a uh, fresh. fresh bread, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, the first we need to cut, okay, to cut the vegetable. So, we clean and cut big piece. The same with the pepper, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. The same with the cucumber, mm -hmm. middle, half, and cut. Okay. okay? Okay. Because later you're going to blend it anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the tomato. So, a fresh tomato. The tomatoes is, uh, is the ingredient more important in this in this yes. preparation, eh, in this dish, because uh, gazpacho is a, a cold soap. Mm -hmm. So it's a cold soap of tomato. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the tomato is the most important ingredient. When we can uh, take uh, the best tomato mm. in summer, ah. yeah, in summer, July, August is the, the best season to to have uh, the best tomato okay. with the full flavor, sweet, mm. uh, full color, red color, okay? Okay, we need the tomato, so, yeah, we cut each tomato, eight piece. Okay, so half and half. Each half, four piece, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Now we need uh, okay. one piece of garlic, it's enough, okay? Because the garlic is full flavor. Mm -hmm. It's a very strong flavor. Right. Because you it's don't so cook so. it also, no? It's just no. raw. It's, so. Yeah. Maybe with this size, maybe we need the half, okay? Okay. The half is enough. And to final, we put the bread. Okay, hard bread. One piece of this. So the bread helps in giving it a bit of texture. Yeah, it's a cold soap uh, with texture, mm -hmm. okay? It's no so liquid. Mm -hmm. So the bread is perfect to, to the result, the final result was uh, the best, okay? okay? Get out the skin. Mm -hmm. Because uh, this texture is, is this is toast ah. and this color get out, okay? okay? We don't need it. Okay. Okay, with this one, that's enough. Put it the oil, the vinegar and the salt. Okay. okay. Salt. The salt is most important because the salt 
extracts the, the flavor from the vegetable. Mm. Okay. And also the water, no? So, because the marinated, for this reason, marinated is, is so important mm -hmm. because uh, we extract more flavor with mm -hmm. the marinade. Uh, so, half a day or 12, 11 hours, maybe. Wow, okay. In the fridge? In the fridge, yeah. Vinegar. And we need to fat, okay? Mm. Olive oil. So this is extra virgin olive oil? Yeah, of course. Okay, now put in the fridge and wait uh, 12 hours, maybe? Okay. It's okay. Okay, now filter, mm -hmm. filter the gazpacho because we want soup. smooth soup. Okay. Yeah. And then, if I need more salt, if I need more uh, water, mm -hmm. more oil, mm -hmm. more vinegar, mm -hmm. that's the moment, okay? Okay, so after you filter it, then you can add yeah. it. Yeah, okay. okay. There are many varieties of gazpacho, no chef? Yeah. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? My favorite gazpacho? Mm -hmm. um, traditional for me, it's the, it's the best. This one? Yeah. Okay. But we can make a different gazpacho with almond. Mm. You know. But, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> we made in school. Yeah. Uh, with almond gazpacho is uh, ajo blanco. Sí. Okay. Uh, a strawberry gazpacho is so famous. Ooh, uh, gazpacho. Yeah, so fresh. Or gazpacho with watermelon. Watermelon. Yes. <laughs> with uh, albahaca or any fresh herbs. Wow. Albahaca is uh, basil. Yeah, mm. basil. More. Okay, here we have a final result gazpacho. or gazpacho, okay. But this one, we can use it. Ah, okay. so you don't get to throw it away, that's good. Yeah. Uh, we can uh, put it in a bread toast hot mm. with a little bit salt, oil, virgin extra, so good. Oh no, nice. <laughs> like a better version of pan de tomate. Yeah, the same, nice. similar, okay. Okay. Look at the texture. It's like a cream. Yes, yes. This yeah. is the consistency we want? Yeah, it's okay. perfect. Okay. Perfect texture, okay. It's good. It's good. That's good, okay. So in the summer they have this throughout the day or just, you know, after lunch or before lunch? After the lunch. Okay. Yeah. After the in the middle of the day. Okay. It's perfect to refresh the body. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now to finish uh, the gazpacho, mm -hmm. we can put it uh, olive oil a little bit. Okay. Or bread. Okay. Toast. Or cucumber mm. in a small square. Okay. Or tomato. Yeah. Small pieces of it. Okay. Small pieces. Now we can, we put a little bit good extra vision. Now, nice. this is perfect final. Wow. Now uh, we can enjoy this uh, cold soap of tomato, gazpacho, typical of the uh, south of Spain. Oh, okay? thank you, Chef. <laughs> Looks wonderful. <laughs> Like it? Oh, it's good. Very no good. good. Yeah. yeah. Of course. It's <laughs> you made it. <laughs> it's very refreshing, 
And since we didn't cook anything, I can taste all the ingredients. And mm -hmm. it's nice that it's cold. The uh, extra virgin olive oil makes a lot of difference. Okay. Oh, it's very nice, chef. So, let's go to make uh, the bacalao. Yes, chef. <laughs> okay, now we make uh, guiso bacalao, uh, codfish. Yeah. Okay, uh, we have uh, codfish, mm -hmm. a skin, a skin of, of codfish, mm -hmm. uh, chickpeas, sorry, uh, tomato, mm -hmm. bay uh, leaf, bay leaf, garlic, onions, uh, cumin, cumin pa uh, paprika, paprika, salt, and sorry, dried uh, sweet dry, uh, yeah, dried su sweet pepper, su dried sweet pepper. Okay. Perfect. Now uh, uh, we need to to make a, a stock, okay? okay? A stock with the skin of uh, codfish, okay? okay? And then we need to cook the the pig fish, chickpeas, chickpeas. Sorry, in a pressure cook. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, about twenty minutes. Okay. That's okay. 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 If they don't have a pressure cooker chef, they can just cook in a pan like this for two yeah. and a half hours. Yeah. In traditional makes uh, about uh, two hours or two and a half hours. Okay. Okay. And then it's better you said that we soak it overnight or for eight hours in water. It's different result. Okay. But uh, now if I have a pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. I have a, a wind time. Okay, okay. okay? So if they so, don't have the pressure cooker, then they should soak it for eight to ten hours in the night and then boil it yeah. in this. Okay. Eight or ten, ten hours. Okay. If that's enough. Okay. okay. Yes, yeah, chef. Okay. We can start to clean the skin okay. in a water because this skin is in a, in a salt. Ah, okay? it's cured in salt. Yeah. Yes. So we need to clean very good, okay? Okay. Okay, now with the skin clean, mm -hmm. without the salt, let's put it here. And cover it with water. And put it in fire. And we need to uh, cook this stock about uh, 45 minutes or one hour, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now uh, we must to cook uh, chickpeas. Chickpeas. Yeah. To cook the chickpeas, chickpeas, put in here. Yeah. Cover the same that the skin covered with water. Put inside uh, laurel or bay leaf. bay leaf, okay, and one of piece of garlic, okay. Oh, with the skin, it's okay. Chef. Yeah, oh. with the skin, okay. Inside, okay. A little bit salt, okay. Just a little bit, okay. Okay. No more. Uncover. Okay, put the fire, maximum top when the pressure uh, really? starts to release, to release uh, we account 20-25 uh, minutes. Yeah. Okay, uh, to start the, the sofrito, mm -hmm. uh, we cut the, the garlic at the middle, mm -hmm. uh, again at the middle, mm -hmm. and uh, we make uh, uh, thin slices. Thin slices, yeah. Add to the oil mm -hmm. and cook. But we don't we don't need uh, become uh, the brown. Okay, so we don't uh, need the, the garlic. garlic. We don't need the garlic to become yeah, brown. Become okay. brown, okay. Uh, and then add the the, the onions. onions. Yeah, we cook about uh, ten minutes. Okay. Together. And then we we add the, the tomato. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, with using a grater. Using the grater. Okay. And cook again about uh, ten or fifteen minutes more. Okay. Okay. It's important not add the salt at the beginning mm -hmm. because the stock and the fish have salt. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, now we have uh, the sofrito made. Mm -hmm. so, the, okay. so it's ready right now? Yeah. Okay. So we need to finish the sofrito. Okay. I agree, the dry pepper and yes. add the, perfect. Paprika? Paprika sweet. And cumin. Mm. Oh, not too much. Okay. Not too much, a little bit. Wow. Smells amazing. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now filter the stock. This is uh, like a fumet. Mm, yes, sir. But a concentrate uh, flavor of bacalao. Cod. Cod. Cod fish. Okay. Vale, ya perdí toda la presión. Abro, eh. Okay. Now remove the chickpeas from the water. With the perfect cook point, mm -hmm. okay. Twenty-five minutes, okay. Cooking. Twenty-five minutes. And pressure cook. In the pressure cooker. Yeah. Now add the chickpeas, the chickpeas uh, to sofrito. Okay. The stock of the skin, fish. Mm. Full flavor, eh? Mm. Full flavor fish. Enough. Okay, and now we need to cook about uh, four or five minutes, okay. maybe. And we cut the fish in four pieces, okay? And add the fish mm. for over four or five minutes, no more, eh? Okay. Wow. The chip, chickpeas in the, in the base of the dish. Put the fish on the top. Muy bonito, eh? Muy bonito mm -hmm. y muy bueno. We're gonna try, chef. Yeah. Let's go. You first. It looks and smells wonderful. Mm. I hope this is good, eh? What do you think? Same, mm. same. Mm. Actually, I thought the codfish flavor would be very strong, but it's actually very subtle. Even the chickpeas. Mm -hmm. Perfect texture. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. My husband will like this dish too. This is the cook for the south of Spain. South of yeah. Spain? Yeah. Okay. Equilibrate texture, flavor, color. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you do make these dishes. When you do, don't forget to tag me at Infinity Platter on Instagram. 
Thank you so much yeah, for coming today and teaching us these dishes. You're welcome, thank you, and see you soon in the school. Yes. Maybe with the uh, exam. I'm going to practice. Dishes, okay? I'm going to practice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all my future recipes and adventures. See you next week. Ciao.